everyone, Linda Israel here, and I have just completed another junk journal. This is another one of the Spring Peacock sets, and this is the exterior of the journal. I thought I would share with you what it looks like. It is a six by eight and a half inch journal, and it is about one inch in thickness, a little bit more because it's kind of full. So I'll open it up here so you can see it's got the Spring Peacock cover on here. On the inside it's covered with some cardstock that has a pocket. This is part of the kit and then this was some of the leftover scrapbook paper that I had from some of the pages in here. On the pages what I did on some of them is I ended up using a punch, I'll give you a little close up there, to punch the edges of the paper. So this was one of the punches that I use. And on the back side of the pages, I did some stamping and sprayed a little bit of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I've got a few embellished paper clips throughout. This is scrapbook paper. And then on the back sides of the papers, I printed lines. I thought I would like to have journaly lines on the pages, so I used those. This particular piece of paper here is a really thick piece of handmade paper that's almost as thick or if not thicker than watercolor paper. There are three pieces of that in the journal. This is some of the journaling kit here. Here's an embellished paper clip that I made. This is a pocket that has a scrap here and then some remnants and pieces here. Another one of the pages here from the kit. I made a small flap so that I could put this pocket here that's part of the kit. Plenty of places to journal inside the kit. So no more. This is more of the, the punched edges. I used this punch on this edge here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Ah, the pages are right there. More of the journal page. I just love the way that the edges, just by punching them, gave a little texture and prettiness to that. So tuck spot here and just scrap pieces of paper that were left over. This was tied shut and I've put little butterflies over the ties. I'll keep going through the pages. Another embellished paper clip. Here's a library pocket that's part of the kit on another piece of paper back here. Here's the other side of that really heavy watercolor paper. There's three signatures in here. So you can see that was the first signature, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of paper. So here's the next signature. Another pocket. Pocket behind. This was made out of a book page. Another tuck spot. Here's a glassine envelope that has something from the kit in it and has been stamped on. Maybe hard to see in the camera there, but it's been stamped on. It's got a little bit of washi tape on it. Here's another pocket that's made from a dictionary page. So there's one there, there, and there, and in the back as well. So there's plenty of spots to add additional tucks. Here's the center again. So we have in this signature, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. 
I'll keep going here. There's the other side of the glassine. Another tuck spot. Another tuck spot. An embellished paper clip, which has embellishment on both sides. This is left over from when I cut down the paper. Stamping. The next signature. It has eight pages in it. Another pocket that's made out of a dictionary page, has washi tape on it. Another embellished paper clip. Another fold out to write on. Lots of places to journal in this book. I like the colors in this one with the teals, the little butterfly accents, another tuck spot, another tuck spot here. Another pocket with a card in it. Back inside pocket has another fold out. Another one of the pieces from the kit. And there's the back. The pages were stitched in and then this piece on um, the spine was put over the stitches so you can't see the stitches on it. It has a ribbon closure that's been put on with an eyelet. So we can tie this shut like so. So that was a quick flip through of my second spring peacock journal that I handmade the cover. Hope you enjoyed seeing that and what this kit looks like when it's all put together. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you're interested in getting the items, check out the description box for the links to the kit that I used today. If you're interested in purchasing this journal, check out the description box as well because I'll have a link to my store. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fabulous day. Bye.